This is for Aries, sub so rising to Venus signs. This is for Aries, sub so rising to Venus signs. My name is D Reader the Mean Isles here for those of y'all that are new and welcome to the Mean Isle channel. I appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much for being here. And don't forget to support Aries, y'all. If you do resonate with this message, then send a super like if you're on YouTube. And if you are on TikTok, then don't forget to send to the CA. So we got bittersweet and dispatting. So I am seeing some of you are going through a bittersweet moment. You're having to kind of change up something. Some of you could be putting on a facade or an image. If this isn't you, then this could be somebody around you that could be causing some confusion, which lit, could lead to trickery because it's coming off one way, but in reality, it's a whole nother. And then we also have isolation and service and discovery and miracles. So I do see that some of y'all are going to be discovering something very soon, which could lead to some type of spiritual miracle slash breakthrough when we got the impasse and preserve. So this is preserving your energy at all costs for a lot of my Aries as well. You know, take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't. And we also have growth and enlightenment. So it does look like I do see receiving some type of confirmation about a situation as well and then we also got workaholics so we got an Aries that's literally been burying itself in work just so they can let go of a situation or you know just so they can let go of someone or just maybe the thought of something I'm getting that's what a lot of y'all are going through right now so we do got the five of cups a lot of y'all are you know looking back at memories and reflecting and we got the nine of wands this could be causing you to feel like you're alone or you're by yourself or you have nobody this could be with a leo today aries match is going to be leo so we got some leo energy showing up and then we got the king of swords so some of you could be dealing with a libra or a leo for those of you that have a history with a Libra or a Leo, this Libra, this Leo is on defense, super heavy when it comes to you. We got the devil, so that could have played a big part in y'all connection in the three of swords, which left somebody exhausted and just felt like they had nothing to lose. This could have been you, this could have been them. We got the six of cups, and then we also got the page of swords facing forward, so I do see... A lot of y'all in a different place mentally, emotionally, spiritually. We got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And then we got the Ace of Swords facing forward. And we also got the Six of Pentacles facing forward. So some of y'all are working really hard towards a goal. Congratulations because you are very close to achieving that goal for a lot of my Aries. But at the same time, you got to also keep that positive energy and that, you know, positive mindset. And that's how you will accomplish. And we got blessed change. So we got a major life change brings you great blessings and have faith. So, yes, things could be changing around you. My air reasons don't really like change too quickly, but... Trust the universe right now. For some of you, this could be a relationship evolving to a soulmate connection. For some of y'all, you could be wanting forgiveness from somebody that you look at as a soulmate. Or this person could be wanting forgiveness from you. I do see that heaven has a gift to give you. We got you pray for help. So get out of the way and let heaven help you and explore your options. So for some of my Aries, this is the gift of being able to let go and move forward. And we got positive energy. This is allowing positive energy in. Surround yourself with positive people, situations, and avoid negativity and ready, set, go. That's what's going to prepare you for your next moment. That's what's going to prepare you for your next breakthrough. Take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't. And then we also have empowerment and healing heart. So for a lot of you, this is healing from heartbreak. This is healing from turmoil. This is healing from all those emotions that you were feeling about somebody at one point and feeling like you were being, you know, misled or misunderstood. And we got tranquility. So this is making time for yourself. We got make time to relax, be still, enjoy solitude, indulging in much needed self-care and father healing. This is for my Aries that did not have a relationship with their father. This is for those of you that had a relationship with your father, but maybe it wasn't the best. And this is for those of you that lost your father. This message is definitely for you. So we got the dolphins. Notice the importance of playtime. Joy creates miracles and manifestations. So I have fun right now. When we got self-employment, maybe one way to make you happy, Aries, is becoming a full-time entrepreneur and... You know, going into business for yourself, maybe that's what's going to be what takes you out of this mindset. Especially for those of y'all that are dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. So, with 
temptation of pleasure and creative intimacy. Some of y'all are ready to spice things up, either in a relationship or just in the bedroom, period. Maybe you could be exploring your sexuality. Maybe this could be a situation to where you're opening a relationship up or y'all could be swingers or maybe just in an open relationship, period, or either polyamory, something to that extent. This could be with a Libra. We have a lot of Libra energy showing up for Aries. Happy birthday to my Libras. We are in Libra season. So I am getting for a lot of y'all right now. If you are dealing with a Libra, there's some type of illusion period going on. So it's something that's not what it appears to be between you and this Libra. And we also got the road to regret and remorse. So some of you are regretting a Libra. Some of you could be regretting a Cancer as well. Because it looks like something was exposed to light. So I don't know if this is between you and this Cancer, you and this Libra, or you and this Leo. But something was exposed to the light. And this is something that you had a dream about actually really happening for a lot of you. That message could have been through a dream. Somebody got a 10 year old. You could be 23, 34, 17. Um, you got a six year old, nine, maybe 18. So just keep that in mind, Aries. What is going to be the final message for Aries? So we do got pure and unconditional love and make the best of every situation. So even if you are in a dark place mentally, emotionally, spiritually, make the best of this and have some fun. Quit taking life so serious, Aries. I know things are hard right now, but... Follow the path that's right for you. Follow, follow the path that's going to help you get through this dark time. We got gentleness is the path of peace, so you don't got to be aggressive. This is not the moment to be around. We got to move boldly into a golden future and a happy home. This is how you will get to that happy energy. This is how you will manifest that abundance and that prosperity by going about it with positive energy. At the bottom of the deck, we got babe in the body. Somebody did a spiritual bath or some type of cleansing. <laughs> I appreciate you, Aries. Instead of working against somebody, work with them. This might actually work in your favor. Thank you, Aries. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, y'all.